Mm. Whoa. What's going on YouTube fam? Welcome back to another trading video. So in today's video, I want to share with you guys a very simple intraday trading strategy that is literally all you need to be able to start pulling out fantastic risk to rewards in the market. So a lot of you guys, when we're on the YouTube lives, keep asking about my plan and my strategy. And I'm not going to show fully exactly my plan step from step. I'm going to show you guys the main elements of my plan and how you can start implementing things that will allow you to start taking fantastic intraday trades, just trading the five minute time frame. So these are things that I've used on the live stream. So for you guys who are new to the channel, welcome to the channel. My name is Aaron. I've been traveling and trading for the past four, almost five years. And I've only recently started documenting my journey here on YouTube and recently started doing live trading sessions here in the London session. So on YouTube, I'll do the London sessions at 7 a.m. London time every Wednesday and Friday. Then every other day, uh, the lives are just for the community. But on the days that we have streamed in the past two months that I've been doing these, we've caught incredible, incredible positions. The fact that so many of you guys keep asking me for my strategy and the way that I trade, I thought I would break down the main key elements here for you guys and show you how you can start catching beautiful, beautiful intraday positions. Now, I'm just gonna jump straight in and show you guys the main elements of this intraday five minute trading strategy. So time frame that I'm gonna be using is just the five minute and the main elements are liquidity grabs and five minute flips. Now, what do I mean by five minute flips? So what I mean by five minute flip is when a candle closes very strong and then very bearish, or if we're looking for a position up, it closes very bearish and then very strong. That's that five minute flip you wanna be looking for. And you wanna be looking for that around a previous high or low or a double top or double bottom or triple top or triple bottom, wherever there's a level of liquidity sitting below, that's where you wanna look for that level to get hunted before you can then take the move. Now, this is something that you wanna also be trading during a session of high volume. So I personally like to trade this a lot during the pre-London session. So the best session for me that I found to trade this is session where there's a lot of volume. So for me, that's pre-London, London Open, pre-New York, and New York Open. For me, they're the, the trading sessions that I like to trade this at the most because the most volume, you get the flips on the five minute and then the momentum continues. When there's times of low volume, the five minute can close bullish, bearish, bullish, bearish, and you're gonna get caught up in terrible price sessions. So you need to be trading it in times where there's a lot of volume. Now, me being here in Australia, for me, intraday trading, I love to trade the London Open and the London session and then pre-New York. I don't really trade the New York session too much for intraday trading because I get more than enough moves in pre-London, London Open, and pre-New York. Um, for the London session, maybe I trade two hours, I go for for a break, I go have some dinner, stuff like that, and then I come back for pre-New York and then do it all over again. So these flips in the market happen almost, if not every single day during some time zone session. So you guys will literally be able to start implementing these moves right away. Now, the main thing you wanna look for, like I say, is levels of support and resistance where it may look like retailers are going short or long, where you wanna look for that stop hunt to get that real move. So the way that I trade is I trade a lot of liquidity grabs. So I look for levels where there is a clear level of resistance and I can see a lot of retailers are probably going short. I wait for that to get stop hunted. I let the five minute flip bearish and then I get involved and I look for the momentum back down. So these are momentum plays. So if I enter a position and the momentum doesn't follow through straight away and we start to stall, then I'm gonna kind of manage my position and look to cut it straight away. Now, I'm just showing you examples here that happened on Thursday and Friday, both during the London session. Now, I'm not gonna scroll back and show you guys price action from months ago that isn't relevant anymore. I'm showing you guys price action that's literally happened the previous week. And you can zoom back to months ago and you'll see these will still happen time and time again. So in this price action, just from Friday, you guys can see how many times it's happened. So this was a lovely play here in the Asian session, but I wasn't actually trading the Asian session on Friday. But this here was a fantastic one. You got that high, you got this clear, level of resistance right here. Anyone who's going short right here, where they have their stop sitting just above this level of resistance. So what does price do? Price comes up, takes it out, and then has that push back down. Now, you don't wanna try and predict the liquidity grab, okay? You wanna wait for that five minute flip, like I mentioned. So five minute close, very, very bullish. You don't wanna go short here. Where do you wanna go short? You wanna go short when the five minute gives you the confirmation and flips incredibly bearish. Now, you can do you can approach the entries two, two of ways. You can take the entry as soon as the five minute closes, or you can sometimes look for the retest entry. Depending on the volume and depending on the session, I personally like to execute it as soon as it's happened. You can wait for the retest, but for me, it's not worth risking the move because if the true volume is there and the true momentum's there, the price should trigger you in and just have a solid move back down. So here you go. Here's a lovely example of if you had taken this, you pick your stops above the highs, 
you run it down this person this one here ran into a nice one to two risk to reward uh, 80 pips in the asian session which is very very nice uh, for me i like to go for a minimum of one to three risk to reward so depending on the price action uh, i probably wouldn't have closed this here because i don't know where the bottom's gonna be but i probably would have trailed a stop and got out here for one to two risk to reward but my overall tp would be like around a one to three to probably come and target these lows down here which then later got taken so you can take it on the break of the close in the five minute or like i say you can look for the retest that came back up to retest this previous wick you still get a lovely risk to reward you come back down you retest these levels here there you go you got a one to four risk to reward now here's one in the london session right here this is one where we had this very clear level of resistance again anyone who's short in the market from this region up here where have they got their stop they got their stop above this previous high and what does price come do price comes up takes out that previous high and then slam breaks straight back down now why is that why is it that we close with an incredibly strong five minute bullish candle the strongest candle we've seen all of asian session and all pre-london that's a 40 pip candle to then completely get reversed for me that's a lovely indication of a liquidity grab and i know that on the higher time frame that's doing nothing but leaving a fantastic wick for me to want to go short now the way that i would have entered this is i wouldn't have entered on this wick here i want to see a nice strong five minute close so the five minute close is bullish close very bearish left a wick and then the five minute close back bearish again breaking below this zone so i would enter on the break of this low you can either have your stop here or above that previous 15 minute high uh let's say looking to target some support down here if you just want to get your one to three there's your one to three right there you're trailing a stop and you probably would have got taken out just above this high here for a beautiful 4.5 risk to reward lovely lovely trade now let's find some more examples to show you guys so here's another one here this had a much deeper liquidity grab where we had this resistance here and we actually came back up and retested some massive levels here. Now, you don't just want to be entering on the retest. Why? Because where are you going to put your stop loss? Put your stop loss above here. The risk to reward is not that great to come retest these levels. What you want to do is wait for that five minute flip that I mentioned at the start of the video. So there you go. Five minute closes incredibly bullish. Five minute then flips bearish. Where do you go? Where do you take entry? You either get the quick little retest, or as soon as it closes, you take your entry. You don't be greedy. Stops above the highs to come back down, test this uh, inverse head and shoulders level of support. You got your uh, almost one to four risk to reward if you want to just want to get your one to three. Your one to three is right there. Zero drawdown. Momentum followed through massively. 15 minute would have left a lovely wick to the high, showing nothing but a stop hunt, and then slammed straight back down. Now, here's an example of one. Let's just say, for example, this was in the, the london session this one here now would i have taken this one here i would have not taken this one here why because it didn't have the liquidity grab so it has to have the liquidity grab it has to take out a previous level of support or resistance in order for me to want to take it now this five minute flip did work you could have had your stop above there targeting these lows down here you didn't get your one to three probably taking a break even but i wouldn't have taken this because it didn't liquidate the highs liquidating the highs is the foundations of the plan here's another example right here you can see this is a pre-Asian session. This was on Thursday. I was actually watching this live, um, but we didn't jump on the Zoom till I think, I believe it was around here. But look at this. Price has a lovely level of support. What do all retails do? Retails go long here off this double bottom. They have their stop somewhere just below this level of support. And then slam, they get stopped back out and then price booms. Now, where would I enter on this? So here's the liquidity grab. Five minute didn't flip bullish here. Five minute didn't flip bullish here. Bearish push back down again. Five minute flip bullish again. Could have taken the retest entry or you can just take the entry as soon as the five minute closes. Don't be greedy. Five minute closes there. Your stop loss goes below the liquidity curve. You come back up to retest these eyes here. You got a one to five. Uh, if you were able enough to tra trail a stop, you may have even got taken out here. Or if you were able to, to ride this up and leave a runner, you would have got an incredible, incredible entry before the London's even open. So this was at around 6 a.m. London time. So this is a pre-London move. And this was an absolute banger again. And this was just on Wednesday last week. So we've had an example here, Friday, Thursday, and Wednesday again, all in the London session. Here for me is the, is the fantastic example. Why? Because we've got our checklist. We've got the time session of pre-London. We have the false level of support being taken out. So we've got the liquidity grab, check. And then what did we have here? We've got the five minute bullish push. So we've got the five minute flip, check. We had a nice little retest, confirmed as support. And then boom, we got a minimum of a minimum one to three locked in. And we had a runner that ran up to 
incredible highs. Just say if you just secure the runner around these highs, keep it realistic. Uh, you got a run of 120 pips, which is just absolutely fantastic. All trading this exact setup. And this is, this is again, this is a live one that I took on Wednesday during the Asian session before we jumped on the London stream. And again, the long was the perfect example. I took the short because we went off the break and retest support, but I've recapped this exact position on my Instagram channel. So if you guys want to go check that out, uh, I made an Instagram reel on this on my Instagram, which is just Aaron.trade. But here you go. Lovely liquidity grab, five minute close. I actually took this as a retest entry, stops below the lows, just playing this up into the highs, looking for it to come and take out this high here. Um, but I secured most of my position here, had a little runner, but then the runner got me at break even. And again, this was a lovely example. Again, you had this resistance, price came up, grabbed the resistance, five minute close bearish, back below the zone. You could have entered here, stops above the highs. Looking for it to say, come back down, retest 1900. You got your one to 3.7 risk reward. So here's one in the Asian session again. And now this is why in the coming months, being here in Australia, I'm considering doing a Asian session stream. So if you guys are based in Australia and you want to watch me trade live during the Asian session, or if you're in the US time zone and you want to watch me trade the Asian session, which is your guys evening time, then leave a comment below if you want me to do the Asian session. And I'm going to start to consider to do that as well. Trading this literal exact same setup. This is the same setup is literally all you need for a fantastic intraday trading strategy. There's nothing more you need. You do not need to overcomplicate it with anything else. This is just session of volume. You've got the liquidity grabs, you've got the five minute flips, you can take the retest or you can just take the momentum entry. You get your minimum of one to three risk to reward. You leave a little runner and bam, that is literally all you need. There is no need to overcomplicate it any more than this. Too many people on Instagram are showing you all these incredibly confusing analysis paralysis setups. This is literally all you need here. And you could literally trade this strategy without even having to draw anything on your charts. Um, I'm just looking at again, look, here's another one right here. You'll see these everywhere. You got this level of resistance here, resistance, resistance, price close bullish, flips bearish. You take the entry on the close of the candle, your stop loss goes above the high, bam, there's another entry again. You will literally find these everywhere and you can trade these on the 30 minute, 15 minute or five minute. I personally, when I'm intraday trading, like to trade these on the five minute because it means I can be done in the London session uh, within the first one to two hours and I can come back in the US session and do it again if I want to and if I didn't get the opportunity in the London session. Don't get me wrong, there's going to be times where this We'll have the five minute flip and then you'll make and price will just continue to push up and you will get stopped out. This isn't a strategy of 100% win rate. No strategy is, nor is that the goal for you in your trading journey. So I'm going to keep this short and sweet and I'm going to pin this at the top of the, every single stream that I do moving forward now. So if you guys want to see what trading strategy that I do and you want to watch me trade live, remember I'll be live every Wednesday and Friday and I'm going to consider doing some Asian sessions soon. So be sure to let me know if you guys want to see that. But for now, that's it. Keep it short and sweet. Appreciate you guys taking the time to tune in and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.